actually you can introduce yourself you know everyone knows who you are yeah um dirty goods yeah. godson yeah so we know that you're on the brink of releasing your album yeah overall, overall yeah and what can people be expecting from that it's a grime album you know it's a grime album is like um so you can expect to hear the sounds of like london what's coming out from london the freshest urban sounds coming out from the london underground scene and applied in a song format and a street format for the streets now a lot of creativity and innovation and thing now also i want to go into that born blessed yeah really when did you make that because when i listened to it i think you're bang on when you said that it's timeless music because i didn't believe that it was made as long ago as you said yeah man it's a timeless thing you know um that was made um in timeless time probably um 2004 now wow you know what i'm saying and also what krs came down to what, the yeah studio? yeah of course yeah how, man how did that happen like you, the you teacher, that? teacher came to the teacher came to hackney was working in hackney was making an album in hackney and the teacher came down these things happen you know yeah man but i mean like getting that kind of he wouldn't just do that for anyone though so he wants to see something in your music ja works you know yeah yeah now also when we're talking about your yeah is it oh what you're looking at this the single yeah for this for the overall yeah yeah well, that was the first single for the grime now the, the, grime video, block, the yeah. video talk to me about the video because the mm. concept mm -hmm. and even the visuals of it is very you know creative yeah respect yeah so we just wanted to do something different because i ain't really um i think that was like my first video to to be played on the tv screen so we just wanted to just um do something attractive because it's a video so we wanted to give you something to watch also now i saw your westwood is it your westwood freestyle the other day i was just spraying for like 15 minutes straight okay that one yeah yeah man yeah. Like, how do you like you and you show all the different type of flows and deliveries you got so when you first started in music what were you listening to was it the raga influence was yeah. it the rap because it seemed like yeah. you have everything mixed together yeah when i first started listening to music it would be reggae music was the first music because that's the most realist authentic music in the world mm -hmm. straight so um yeah that's my roots and that's my culture so that's what i was listening to first in my household yeah and then along came the other types of music where you just because music is you know what I mean? So many different styles of music. Now let me ask you a question, right? You've been signed to a major before, all right? So, you know, I've listened to a lot of your lyrics and what exactly happened, because I'm not aware, what exactly happened when you was on, was, was it Polydor? Yeah. In terms of like, you know, was it lack of creative control or what was the issue there? Nah, nah, when I was there, um, never really had that much communication with them, but it was so-so. It wasn't nothing too, too dramatic, you know what I'm saying? I still made my album that I was supposed to make, but the album never came out, which was Born Bless. That was Born Bless? Yeah, that was Born Bless. And they didn't want to put that out? Basically. Right. Well, they dropped the ball on that one there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm. So now, obviously, like I say that you're a very good lyricist, so we were speaking before. Like, what do you reckon is some of your deepest You know lyrics? what, let me take that back, because you know what? It got to the stage where I had something in my life, so I'm not even actually even sure if they wanted to put that album out. You know what I'm saying? They might have wanted to put the album out, but they might have wanted to change it up and do certain things because they got control of the thing. So they might have wanted to take my real music and maybe give me a cheesy video or something mm -hmm. back then. So you st I still wouldn't have got my vision out how it was told. You hear what I'm saying? Mm, that's all. And actually, sticking on that though, so what was your favourite track on that? Because I think, was it, is it Childhood? Is it child What's the one when you're, it's almost like you're talking to yourself? Yeah, that's, that's probably Childhood. Yeah. yeah. That's one of my favourites. Mm. Is there any other ones that stand out for you on that? Um, the whole album stands out for me, yeah. to be honest. It's like um, timeless, so it was made as a project. Like every track was made for the position of the track. Yeah. And also, you're going to be heading off to the Smiley Culture event today. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what's yeah. your thoughts on what's happened or what's going on in that situation? Well, I don't really involve in other politics, and I can. Mm -hmm. I just make the music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. So now let's go back into the your deepest lyrics that like, was some of dirty goods. Deepest yeah. lyrics. Because I know you got enough, so got enough. <laughs> yeah. Got enough. Well, yeah, the, the people that, that support they like marijuana and thing. Mm. That's the talk off of the head. And there's enough other tunes that circulating. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, I'm trying to do just that every time anyway. Yeah. Now, is there any quotables for you like got following? Is there any lyrics that for you that you think yeah? 
that's the one, like, you know, because if people may not have heard it, mm -hmm. is there anything you could quote for us? To be honest, it's, it's all going to be on this new album. Okay, on the uh, Yeah, I, 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 I like people, I would like the youth to check this new album, because it's, it's for the youth them still, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I want them to realise that this album was made with only peace and love, and they can come together and support this, and then you can follow the right way. And you say this should have more of a, a, a grime feel this album here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And in terms of features and producers, who will be on the actual album? Um, Producer-wise, I just worked with a couple of local heads, to be honest, because that's how our grime is made. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we've got producers like Dutchpot and Cinematic and Stenchman and Scratcher. And, um, yeah. And you're, at, you're on your own indie, where is it Inner Peace? Inner Peace, yeah. yeah. When did you start that and what was the vision behind that? Well, it's about getting the music out, you know. Mm -hmm. We just want to just push the music. And, you know what I mean? It's the movement. It's a good movement. Good music's going to come out through them doors there. Yeah. Mm. And is there any other people assigned to it, or is it just yourself at the moment? Yeah, right now, there's a um, couple of things in the pipeline still, but nothing that um, can be really solidified right now. Um, mm. So now, when you're looking at the scene, um, how it's developed, um, a lot of people who've come from the grime scene are chatting but not necessarily with grime music. Do you feel it's important for people to sometimes keep some form of authenticity in where they've come from? Yeah, I think it's important, but um, it's important that everybody just be themselves as well and just do what you feel like, you get me? Yeah. And what's your, like, what's your process to actually like, creating tracks? Are you the type of person who vibes in the studio, you write to the beat or you already have it written? I mean, how's your writing process? Yeah, music? I can vibes in the studio. More time as vibes in the studio. Sometimes um, it's just life for me. So sometimes I'm vibing in the studio, sometimes I'm chilling, sometimes I might write something. Yeah. yeah. And then also with the album overall, mm. like, do you feel that this is like important in your career now that this is actually well received? Um, yeah, I felt like that with every release though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't like feel like this is like, I just feel like that on every time, every time I come around and release. That's how it's supposed to feel because it's important because you need to listen and learn. And you know what I mean, like the music as well, same time. Mm. And um, the gel tells lyrics when you um, equated the music industry to like almost being in, in, in prison, like the metaphors. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was deep. Is that how you actually still feel today, or is it just at the time that's how you were feeling? Yeah. Um, yeah, cause we don't change, you know. <laughs> you know mm. what I'm saying? If we, if we change, it's for the right way. So, mm. um, yeah, but I can't remember what I said. But well, whatever somebody, I said, it was important. Yeah, people need to check it out. It was like yeah. something about the um, the A and R's are like yeah. this and that, and then the yeah yeah broke it down properly. Yeah, yeah. Come an MC, you know, so you have to be skillful at the same time. Yeah, mm. and like I said to you before, like I feel like you're the best at what you do. You know, you can you can rap. You've got the rag on, on flow. You can you know you can do the straight spitting. Which part of style? Which which style of yours do you like feel most comfortable in? Every style. Every style. Yeah, every style I'm yeah. yeah, but you're not saying reggae. Reggae, yeah. I don't think. So what, favorite reggae artist then? Huh? Favorite artist in reggae music? I love all the reggae artists then, but Bob Marley. Bob Marley, the yeah. legend. Boom. Yeah, man. Now, in closing, so, is there anyone that you're actually checking for who's impressing you, like, in the scene today? Mmm. Um. A youth named Inferno. I do some work with him. Versatile, yeah. Okay, cool. And in closing words, because we know you've got to get to this place, tell people where they can catch you, where they can get the the album, the dates, you know, just so everyone knows where they can get the music from. Yeah, the album is coming out at the end of May. Um, you can grab that from HMV and Amazon. You can pre order from now. And then HMV and all in place there, where you get your local musical outlets. And it's what? The date? April, May 24th? Um, around 25th? 20th, 20th, 25th. 19th, 20th, 21st, around them time there. Yeah. Any one of them there there. And then we get another that's on iTunes and... iTunes and the, the locals. Okay, yeah. Mr. Good. Mm. Much appreciated for your time. Yeah, respect. You take care. Respect, yeah.